Deimos is Siege's newest operator, and no one can really seem to decide whether he's severely over or underpowered. And that's because the answer is kind of both, depending on how he's played. So today, I'm going to teach you how to get the absolute most out of playing Deimos. To start, we're going to quickly run through the basics, beginning with his loadout, which consists of the AK-74, the M590 shotgun, and his 44 Vendetta revolver as a secondary. For secondary gadgets, he brings either hard reach charges or frag grenades. I think, personally, the most consistent loadout is the AK and the frags, since since the frags can help for flushing out defenders, which we'll cover more later, and the AK helps for taking longer engagements. However, I'm sure there's certain strats which can make use of both the shotgun and the heart breaches. Moving on to his gadget, Deimos' ability is the Death Mark. The Death Mark is a small drone that Deimos can choose to send after any one of the defenders that have been revealed to the attackers. Upon arrival, the drone will then live ping the enemy for Deimos, while also giving the pinged enemy a slightly less accurate ping of Deimos himself. He can do this up to three times in any given round, and can only use his revolver while the ability is active. That isn't much of a problem though because the revolver absolutely kicks ass. To start out with the actual guide, we're going to cover the gathering targets phase. As we mentioned before, Deimos can only ping defenders that have been revealed to the attackers, meaning that their icons appear at the top of the screen. This, as I'm sure you're all aware, is primarily done via red pinging, but this can lead to your drone getting destroyed, which is absolutely something you do not want. So my first piece of advice is to be smart with how you reveal your targets. Like, instead, try pinging their gadget, or if you do have to red ping, make sure your drone is either well hidden or ready to flee the area. Drones are especially important for Deimos, since he can only ping one person at a time, and so unlike other roam clearers like Dokabi or Lion, who can affect several defenders at once, he's more susceptible to being caught off guard by multiple enemies. For that reason, you don't want to be losing your drones too quickly. And I actually think this is where one of the first issues with how people are playing Deimos is arising, and why some people think he's bad. In my experience, I think people are being too reliant on his death mark, and are neglecting his other two drones that he has at his disposal to help him clear areas. If you solely use Deimos' ability to take map control, you will get tunnel visioned onto one enemy, and another will come round the corner and absolutely destroy you. So my next tip is to make use of your standard drones. Drone an area first, and then if you find a single isolated enemy, use the death mark and combine it with your prior knowledge of the area to try and take them out, or at least push them off of their position. So now, let's say it's start of the round, and you have a selection of defenders to ping, what do you do? Well first you have to consider which target you want to ping, and when to do so. Deimos' ability immediately instills panic in an enemy, and so it's best to track them when they're already preoccupied with something or someone else, so that they then have to divide their attention between that and the Deimos that's hunting them down. To give you an example, this game here on Emerald Plains, I wasn't getting much in the way of callouts from my team, but I hear that a gunfight is going on across the map between the Nomad and the Alibi on the enemy team, and so I just used one of my death marks on Alibi, who was currently too spooked by losing so much HP to Nomad to even notice that Deimos was creeping up behind her, and and then I kill her immediately. Now, say that I had just randomly pinged Alibi at some random point in the round before this, she likely would have been far less distracted, and the fight that would have ensued between me and her would have been far more fair. And with my shitty aim, then I probably would have died. But that's what Deimos is about. Deimos is about making the gunfight as unfair as possible for your enemy. But I only knew that the Alibi was attacking the Nomad because I knew the sound of the gun. So what happens if you don't know the sound of the gun? What happens if you have no intel at all, and you just randomly ping someone, and it turns out that it is a completely useless ping. Well, it seems that a lot of people don't know that you can actually cancel Deimos' ping if it's not that useful to you. I only say this because Ubisoft eventually put out a social media post explaining that you could do this, because I'm guessing so many people did not know that this was a feature. And I'm going to show you a different game that perfectly illustrates how to use this feature. This round on Nighthaven, I only had so many defenders to ping, one of which was Thunderbird. The enemies were defending basement, but I was aware that they had extended up to warehouse and were holding it to some extent. However, I did not know which operator was holding in there, and whether or not I had them pinged. And so, as I'm pushing through, I just say fuck it, and I just pinged the Thunderbird, just in case it was her that was holding in there. As it turns out, it wasn't, and she was already back in sight by this point. And so, as I'm nearing IT to push rafters, I cancel the death mark. This way, now I don't have to take the gunfight while I'm potentially being called out by the Thunderbird, and I don't have to take the gunfight with the revolver. And so, I'm able to use my primary and a nade to help get the kill on the operator who was playing in rafters the whole time, who I now find out was Castle. After this, it comes down to one enemy left, who turns out to actually be the Thunderbird from earlier. Turns out as well that I can now ping her again, which I do, and so I push as fast as I can to try and outrun the pings that she's getting on me, and then use my other nade combined with the live ping to get the final kill on her. And this comes back to what I mentioned earlier about nades. Enemies most of the time will try and get into a safe position when you track them, and often a nade is the perfect method of flushing them out of there. Of course, since you have them live pinged as well, you'll know exactly when
and they're running out of that position and you'll be able to kill them pretty easily. The next round I'm going to show you is back on Emerald and it pertains to how good Deimos can be both in a post plan or just in a situation where the attackers have the man advantage. Here we find one enemy left and as my teammates go to plant the diffuser I track the final guy and then relay that information to them. We mentioned before about how important it is for Deimos to gather information from the team so he knows who and when to ping but the same of course goes for Deimos. Every time you ping someone it will tell you the name of the room that they're currently in which you can quickly call to your team and so they can act accordingly. This call allowed my team to then watch the door between sites which gave me a chance to hold the cross from across the atrium. Eventually the castle was running out of time and didn't quite realize where I was and so as soon as he set foot in front of the barricade I killed him. Now we're going to quickly cover a misconception about how Deimos should be played. That would be that Deimos should go either below or above the site, ping someone, and then attempt to kill them through the floor. This of course can be a decent strat, and sometimes it's the perfect strategy. But the misconception stems from the fact that people think this is THE way to play Deimos. Whereas actually it can be pretty difficult to get kills through floors with all the metal bars that are in the way. And it also enhances the tunnel vision that you have on your enemy when you're looking either up at the ceiling or down at the floor, so you won't see any roamers who are creeping up on you. It's understandable why people want to play Deimos like this. It's a cool feeling to kill someone through a floor, but this strategy should not be your go-to. I now have a few quick tips for you to remember while you're playing Deimos. The first is that by far the best way to avoid taking damage from your enemy is to keep moving around a lot, since the enemy's ping on Deimos isn't live, and you can sort of outrun the ping if you move fast enough. The second tip is that there is a brief window, maybe about a second or so, where the enemy is pinged for Deimos, but the ping on Deimos has not yet appeared for the enemy. And so if you act fast enough upon that ping, then the enemy might not even get the intel on where you are before you kill them. The final tip is that Deimos' revolver can in fact actually open up hatches and make rotates. And to be honest, this kind of just gives me even less reason to pick the primary shotgun. Just now to close out the video, we're going to recap everything we've talked about. Remember to be smart about how you reveal your defenders. Don't red ping and don't get your drone killed immediately. Use your standard drones to aid your intel. Don't solely rely on the death mark to find out where people are. Think about who you're going to ping and when you're going to ping them. Try to ping someone when they're already distracted and cannot just drop everything and focus on you. And of course, inform your teammates of their whereabouts. If you're not getting much intel from the death mark, then be sure to cancel it and swap back to your primary weapon if need be. And finally, only play for kills through floors and walls when it makes sense to. But that is going to do it for our Deimos guide. If this video helped you out or if you enjoyed it, then please do remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It would greatly help me out and I greatly appreciate it. I intend to do more guides like this, so please do leave a comment with the operator that you would like me to cover and I'll be sure to get round to it. If you want to follow my socials you can find them on screen here but that's it from me I will catch you all in the next one.